Sauce DMC to K-I-N-G. I'ma say this once, I ain't gonna say it again. DMC in the place to be, and the place for you to be is right here with Fred White. Tales from the pen. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Slow people, we back. Fred White, Tales from the Pen. If you're new to the channel, go down and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notification and then click the word all. And make sure the bell is shaded in. This way, anytime I put up a video, you will know about it. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take a flashback. We're going to take the top five Fred White, the people's champ moments. Okay? I'm going to break them down and then I'm going to show them. Yeah. Me chasing birds away from kids and helping girls out of stores and things like that. We got it all on footage. We don't play games, okay? So you guys are going to put it in the comments. Do you like number one, two, three? What was your favorite? First clip, I'm walking down the street, me and my kids, and I see this guy, and I start watching him. I was supposed to go the other way. But I sat there and watched him for a minute across the street as he started talking to these kids. Grown man, looking weird. You know, you get them vibes. At least I do. So I'm watching the dude and I'm watching him ask kids stuff across the street. Junior high school, these kids was young. 10, 11, 12. So I watch him start walking with these kids down the block. I said, nah, something ain't right. So I watch him again and he's by the, by the corner. And he's talking to all these kids and blah, blah, blah. And I see him putting his hands down his pockets and in his pants. You're going to see the video. I'm coming across the street. Here I come. That one was one of the funniest ones. I mean, did you see the way he skipped across the street like Peter Pan, right? And then I asked a couple of those kids because my daughter knew them. And he was asking them all types of weird questions, family, home, do they have money, things of that nature. Yeah, no, not here. Clip number two. I come upon, I'm again, I'm with my daughter and I come upon this grocery store and I see this baby sitting outside in the stroller. I sit around for a little while, a few minutes, this baby's still here in the stroller. I could have took this baby and been gone. I could have been in another state already. So it's in front of a supermarket. So I go in front of the supermarket, go to the door. Whose baby is this out here? I see a lady come and she throws her stuff like on the counter. And then we got this. Video her. You think it's okay to leave your baby outside by itself? You think it's okay? Anybody could have took your baby. Disgusting. Disgusting. Makes me sick, these kind of people, man. That was clip number two. Sad. Sad. You know, in this day and age, I don't care what's going on. You can't leave your kids outside. You just can't do it. Some some people in some communities maybe think it's safe, and th those be the ones that are targeted. It's crazy. It just makes me sick sometimes. Number three. Number three. This girl comes into the store late at night crying. I'm in the aisle. Again, when I'm getting a nutriment, you know, I drink my chocolate nutriment. And I hear her crying, can somebody help me? This man outside, that's all I had to hear. And it was a young girl. 
and it, you know, it struck a nerve, not even just because I have a daughter, but I mean, maybe, you know, like I have a young daughter and you know, as soon as I heard her say, help me, here we go. I don't want to get attacked right now. No, you're not going to get attacked. Let's go. Yo, yo, why don't you leave her? Why don't you leave people alone, man? You I'm scaring sorry, people. Sorry. You fucking scaring people, I'm man. I'm sorry. Fuck out of here, man. You all right? Come on, I'm going to walk with you. You all right? You good? I, no, but I don't want to... I see you crying. You know, you're hearing the stories of, like, people asking for money. They say no, and they get slashed in the face. Or right, whatever, right. You know what I mean? But he didn't get... He, he didn't do it. He, you all right? You good? Come on, I got you. Don't worry. Look, we got it all recorded. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Now she's like, nah, man. You see these people out here? This is what they do. They, they, they harass people. You know what I mean? This lady came in the store. She was very upset. She was crying, and she needed help walking to the subway. That's what I do. I got you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that was clip number three. You know what I mean? I just, again, I always think about my child. And I also think about karma, right? Because you got to understand, people. When you do good things or when you help somebody else, understand that it's going to come back to you. Good is going to come back to you. Or it may come back to, like, one of my children or something. I should hope that somebody in the future, if I'm not around and my, any of my kids need some type of assistance... Somebody like me would be around, right? So that's why I did that. Number four. About eight months after the incident with the guy running across the street like Peter Pan, there was another guy, looked similar to him, but I don't believe it was him. And I see him doing the same thing over talking to these kids. I just got a problem with grown men who I know look strange. You can just tell. It's in places and talking to kids when they don't have any kids. Something like that just... It just disturbs me. So I seen him, and here we go. This is clip number four. in this world and you always got to be diligent and mindful and everything that's going on around you sometimes people are in their own little world and i understand that some people like to mind their business and i understand that too but sometimes you you know when you see something that ain't right you got to stand up for it you gotta you gotta you gotta step you, you gotta step up that's just it that's just that's just how i was raised you know what i mean that guy didn't belong around those kids, man. Get up out of here. Yeah, that's how we roll. Beat it. Now, number five may be the fan favorite. I'm not sure yet. I got to see in the comments. Was it one, two, three, four? But number five, here it comes. At the school. Look, you see where we are? And this dude's out here, look. He's like going through the garbage, making mad noise. Look at him. Dressed as a woman. Outside the school. Like literally, we're outside the school right now. Well, we're gonna find out what's happening here. Look at him. Yo, what are you doing here, man? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I didn't do nothing, man. Yo. Yo, you know you're outside of a school. Like, you see this, right? Why? You're outside of a school making all this noise. You're scaring people, bro. I, I live, this is my community. This is I know community, where you live, bro. but this is a motherfucking school, man. Really? Well, he has his gate, damn it, man. It's a fucking... What the fuck is this? I didn't do that to Joe. Man. So I didn't just sit there and watch you do that. No, I didn't this. do that shit. That was another asshole. I, it wasn't me, man. It was another asshole. And you bet, man. So it was yep. an asshole. As an asshole, and, and you're saying it I'm was a, a motherfucker, son of a bitch. I thought I, I, I'm a fucking asshole. 
You, you're an orphan? Yeah! But what the fuck that got to do with you outside of a school? Hey, wait, 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 don't take it easy. Uh, uh, we're friends, right? No, we're not fucking okay, friends. Okay, what is this, a gay? You know you can see well or not? Why don't you well, get I'm the fuck nigga. out of here? Why don't you get out of here before... Okay, we, I get the yeah, fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Please do that. Well, let me put my down back here. This, kid, this is what drugs do to you. No. This is what drugs, this is what crack does to you. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't smoke crack, I don't though. give a fuck what you do. Just get the fuck away from the school. Okay, come on, uh, man. I thought it was a dang game. That was a no bad game. Just get the fuck okay, out of here. Beat it. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You don't smoke down there? Nah, nah. What'd you say? Surf Avenue don't smoke crack down all the time. You smoke crack in 7th Avenue? Me? Yeah. I don't, man. So you, I'm, I'm, tell the people you smoke crack or something. I don't smoke, man. I don't want to go to fucking jail again. You man. don't want to go to jail, but you out here on, outside. This is a school. Wait, take it easy, man. What, woman? Wait, you're a smart guy, right? Yeah, very you're smart, right? Yeah. You're a little bit smart. Yeah. What is this? A gate? And and not only the my, gate means right. that that belongs to not, him, and this is a damn school. Right. Not, 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 not only, only am I smart, my backhand is crazy, so I need you to chill the fuck out and get the fuck out. You of here. bet, man. Yeah, that's you what bet. I need. That's what I need. What you want me to sleep? Yeah, I want you to get the fuck out of here, I said. You ain't understand what I said? My backhand is strong. Do you know what that means? I know, I understand. Right? I said, get the fuck okay, out I of here. Okay, I'll see you, man. Stay well, yeah. God bye. God. Appreciate it. Well, you found it with Custer? Custer. Yeah. This is the shit I'm talking about. Like, literally, we're outside of a fucking school. You can see that dude is a little, uh, obviously, you know what I mean? You can see the drugs. You can see the crack. You can see the, the ice. You know what I'm saying? I was trying not to get too close. You know what I mean? But, I mean, this is the shit that goes on in today's society. You got these people out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Now I know that some people, certain relatives, Fred, you shouldn't do that. But listen, man, if I don't, who will? This dude came over here. Look what he did to the garbage. Look what he did. Look, look, look. He just was over here ripping the garbage, throwing it in the air. Arr! This is what motherfucking drugs do, kids. But, you know, like I always say, not here, not around me. You understand what I mean? I can't make this up. Like if I told you guys the story, it may be entertaining. But when you see it, I cannot make this stuff up. These people are out here, man. It's these drugs, it's, it's the mental health. It, it's nuts. So there it is. This is the top five Fred White, the people's champ moments. Which one is your favorite? Put it in the comments. You already know people. You already know the motto. Experience is the greatest teacher. But somebody else's experience could be just as valuable if you pay attention and listen. On that note, people, Fred White, signing off.